welcome to stamppatties.com. Today my share is showing you how to make this star 3D ornament that will adorn your Christmas tree. So I am using the Tidings and Trimmings bundle that is found in Stampin' Up's annual uh, 2021 to 2022 annual catalog. So let's get started. And let me tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need our Simply Scored tool. And we're going to be using the Early, is it Early Evergreen, uh, which is a new color. And we're going to be using our die cutting machine. But here we go. So you're going to need, using the dies, you're going to need the large star. You're going to need two of those cut from the Early Evergreen. You're going to need a small star cut out with the evergreen, some gold foil to cut out the detailed stars, the large um, and the small one must still be on my die cutting machine. So you're going to need, oh, nope, there it is. Okay, we don't want to lose that. So two gold uh, foil star overlays. The other large star, I picked a piece of the designer series paper that is the coordinating with this bundle. And then this strip is one and a half inches wide by 11 inches long. So let's go ahead and let's get started with these pieces. So using our score tool, we're going to put the one and a half inch strip all the way up in the top corner and we are going to score at a quarter inch um, I need my the little side of my stylus so we're gonna score at one quarter inch all the way down and then we're gonna score at one and a quarter inch all the way down then we're gonna turn it long ways and we are gonna score every inch, okay? So this is an 11 inch long piece of paper. So we're gonna score at one inch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so once we get our scoring done, I am going to flip this over and I am going to take some of our tear tape, which is about a quarter inch wide, and I am going to place tear tape on that quarter inch border all the way down. Okay and tear it off. Okay. Then I am going to need my paper snips. And what I'm going to do is on this back side, I am going to snip. So right now what I'm doing is I'm snipping the corner and the corner. And then every place you see that one inch score, you're going to come to the right of it and to the left of it and you're gonna snip out a little triangle. Be careful, because you don't want to tear it, okay? And you're gonna do that on both sides, okay? Just like that. So when you are done and you have snipped all the way down, your piece should look like this, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of just bend it on my scores because I need it to be bent, okay? It doesn't really matter what direction as long as it's fairly flexible. And then I also wanna bend my tabs, okay? There we go. So we're gonna bend all of those tabs down Make sure I'm bending on my score lines, okay? All right, and now I am going to take one of my green stars. So if I look at this carefully, I can see that this side is the side that my die was on. It's a little bit rounded. This side is, is um, not. So I'm gonna use this as the side that shows. So I'm gonna put my star down, okay? And I am going to I'm going to peel 
back all of the strips, okay? All of the strips on one side, okay? So very carefully, I'm using the point of my paper snips because it helps me to get the paper off without getting the sticky, okay? So we're gonna do that all the way down on one side. Okay, once you have gotten the strips off of every side, we are ready to now put it on our star, okay? So I am going to put the sticky side down and you should see that it will go from one corner to another on the star, okay? And then I will turn my page, I'm gonna make sure my thing bends at the point of the star and I'm gonna then stick it down to my star, okay? And I'm gonna work, oh boy, here we go, all the way around Can you see that? I Hopefully it's coming out that you can see it okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do that all the way around the star. So if your scoring is working out well, if you scored it well and bent it really well, this should be very easy to get it all the way around. Perfect, I'm almost there. So I have an extra one and I just kinda um, am tucking that in. So I actually have double the strength on one of those sides. So, oop, that's okay. Perfect, okay. So I'm glued down on one side. So as you can see, I'm now glued down on one side. So now our next step is going to be to peel off the strips on the other side. And when we do that, okay, you're gonna see that you have some natural overlays. So you're going to want to adhere those down, okay? I'll show you that next. All right, so I've gotten all the sticky strips off and I was saying earlier, when you tuck this, make sure that the next one adheres to it, okay? So you want to keep that star formation and you wanna get those raised edges adhered together, okay? This is the one that we have that is doubled. So I'm gonna put this one under and then that one over just to give me some firmness there. Okay, so now I am glued down. I am going to take my other large star and I am going to adhere these pieces together, which is then gonna form my 3D star. You can either go to the paper this way or you can bring the star to the um, 3D portion. I think I'm going to do it that way because I can see it a little bit better. And I can see that I need to kind of push it together to get it to line up. So that was probably the easiest and best way to do it. So there we have our 3D star. So it's gonna be time now to start decorating it. So I have my piece of designer series paper and I am gonna use our Tombow liquid glue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my DSP. Be sure to get some all around the edges so that it doesn't come off. And I'm gonna put that on. Perfect. Okay, I am gonna use some more of my Tombow liquid glue on my gold layer. And I'm gonna put that in the spots where I have a little bit of paper, ooh, shoot, okay, paper sticking out. So let's get that so that I can get that adhered onto my star. And the beauty of liquid glue is it allows me a little bit of time to kind of move it about um, if I need to, and it also dries clear. So I also have my small evergreen star and my small foil. So now I'm gonna put the two of those together with some dabs of liquid glue. 
make sure you keep some baby wipes close by so that you can get your hands um, free of the glue remnants before you go putting this all together. Okay, we're almost done. So now all I need is some dimensionals. So I've got some dimensional material here. I'm going to kind of just snip some pieces of it. There we go. And I'm going to put that on the back of my small evergreen star because I want to pop that up in the center of my ornaments. There we go. Perfect. All right. I've got um, a little bit of gold um, cord. And so here's how I'm going to do this. It worked really well for me when I did it yesterday. So we'll see if we can do it on camera. So at the top of my star, I'm taking my paper snips and I'm um, kind of whittling like a little hole. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to hope for a miracle. Ooh, just like I'm sewing, I kind of licked the end of it. I'm feeding it through and hoping, like I said, when I did it yesterday, it came through first try. Of course, it's not going to do that today because I'm on camera. So let's see if I can get this to work. Of course not. All right, my hands are a little bit sticky, so I'm hoping that some of that glue. All right, guys, let me try this again. All right, so to keep my gold cord from fraying, I used a little dab of the liquid glue on my fingers and I kind of glued it together. And so now I think we're gonna be ready. So I'm going to feed this through and hopefully it comes, keeping it tighter, let's see. Comes through, I hope. The other side, maybe not. Oh, you guys, this is not fun for, there we go. Okay, got it through. All right, so I am going to make a big enough loop because I don't know what the size of the branch is gonna be on my Christmas tree. So once I cut this, I can kind of just tie like a sewer's knot, I guess I call it, like when you're threading a needle and you don't want, and you have double thread. All right, there is my not. So that's it, my friends. We have now created our 3D star Christmas ornament. So um, thank you for visiting stamppatties.com. If you are not a subscriber, down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you should see a pink button that says subscri subscribe. Make sure you do that and make sure you click on the bell so that you get notified of every Stamp Patties video. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping. Until next time.